Good evening. One, two, one, two. Good Can evening. You Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, good evening. Welcome, guys. Let me test my microphone. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're good. Uh, welcome back to your session of Intermediate 1. Today is, what, Tuesday? Tuesday, October 31st. So how's the rain? Good evening, guys. It's rainy. Raining cats and dogs. Yeah. Okay, is it cold? Yes. yes, it's really cold. It is really cold, isn't it? Okay. I'm wearing a sweater. I couldn't take the the coldness. You realize you get old when you feel the cold. <laughs> I'm making a rhyme and I, I it wasn't my intention, but yeah. You realize you're old when you feel the cold. Okay. Now I know it is true what I was thinking because, man, today it's been really cold for me. And I, I thought... I could live in, in Canada, you know. Would you like to live in Canada, any of you? Yes, Denise? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, Canada is beautiful, but... Have you seen the Argentino? Have you seen the Argentino who moved to Canada? And he sends letters to his cousin? No? Okay, go go to TikTok. Yeah. Go to TikTok and look for the story. That's very funny, really funny. Oh, see, si, see. Si. Yeah, you have seen it, right, Freddy? Yeah, see. Se arrepiente estar en Canadá. Yeah. yeah. How do you say? How do you say that in English? How do you say that in English? Everybody, uh, se arrepiente de estar en Canadá. How do you say that in English? Oh, no. Translate. Yeah, but with your mind, not with the translator. Come on. How do you say arrepentirse? Majo, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. I don't know. How do you say arrepentirse in English? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Remember. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Jorge Alberto, how do you say arrepentirse in English? Excuse me. Good evening, teacher. Hi, right, good evening. How do you say arrepentirse in English? Regret? No. Re excellent. Regret. Regret. So, ready? This lady, he regrets being at Canada. In Canada, huh? In Canada. He regrets being in Canada. By the way, yeah. it's, ca ca it's something like ca 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 Canada. 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 Uh -huh. It's not Canada. It's Canada. Yeah. Canada. He really regrets it. Why, Fredis? It's cool. Very cool. But there's something else. Um, what? There is something else as a reason, as a reason for regret, for remorse. He, there is something else. It's not just the cold. What happens with the snow? You don't remember? No. Every day he has to clean the snow from his entrance. He cleans the snow with the shovel. He cleans the snow with the shovel. And then um, 
the guy with hold on the guy with the sweeper the sweeper la barredora the guy with the sweeper goes by his house and he returns all the note mm -hmm. every day and he goes like I think he hates me <laughs> because it's... and the other thing yeah is the is the weather right and he tells the cousin man I heard that oh my cousin my cousin text me my cousin sent me a letter he says that they are going to the beach and they're having barbecue at the beach and I'm here <laughs> oh my god it's so funny you should look at look for it okay not funny when you laugh alone okay so today I'm gonna do the attendance and we're going to practice speaking I have to make you talk you have to talk so let me just get right here oh Paréntesis, señores, voy a hacer un regaño general aquí en esta clase. Voy a sacar el chincho. Voy con el, voy con el chincho, como dice mi jefa. Voy con el chincho. Ah, necesito que se pongan las pilas con no, la dale. plataforma. Please. Lástima que no está Alex, Luis Eduardo, Nancy Carolina, Oscar Eduardo, Roberto Ernesto, lo podemos hacer mejor. A lot better. Jorge Ernesto también lo podemos hacer mejor. I know we can do it. Acuérdese que puede repetir los ejercicios cuantas veces sean necesarios. Si usted se saque un 100, no hay ningún problema. Y si tiene alguna dificultad, me escribe. Teacher, I don't know what am I doing here. So, okay. Let's go with the attendance. Where is Alex? Alex Enoc Ramírez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. <laughs> Ana Raquel Campos, Ana Victoria Galán Cantón, hmm. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala, present teacher, excellent, Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana, present, thank you, Freddy Ale, I'm sorry, Freddy Ricardo Landaverde, present full, <laughs> thank you. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Present, Yasmin. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Okay. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Excellent. María José Escobar Portillo. Present, month. Excellent. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Present, Machín. Excellent. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Mike, 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 is that here today? Okay. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Excellent. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present, teacher. No. Thank you. Excellent. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Ernesto Morales Colindres. Present teacher. Thank you. I Welcome to the message. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Roxana Geraldina Guandique Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Para los que se acaban de unir, les estaba regañando, se salvaron del chinchacho. Este, pónganse las pilas con la plataforma, please. Um, por lo menos la unidad uno tiene que estar completada, ya que ayer la terminamos. Okay. Tonight. We only have 20 minutes. We only have 20 minutes to practice. So I'll send you something to your WhatsApp. Por favor, no expongan, como se dice, no compartan la pantalla con este link. Solo es para ustedes individualmente. This is a question generator. It's used to break the ice. If you see there is a, an orange, an orange button, it says generate another random topic. So if you click on it, you will change the question. So if you feel that the question is too difficult, 
look for another question, okay? So for example, Denise, <clears throat> what are some things that you should not say at a funeral? Congratulations. Exactly. You shouldn't say congratulations in a funeral. That's a good answer. Okay, why? Because it's not a happy time, maybe. <laughs> exactly. That's a good answer. That's an easy question. There's just a few answers. Okay, next question, uh, Jorge Ernesto. What are you most worried about right now? What are you most worried about right now? I'm sorry, can you repeat slowly, yep. please? What are you most worried about right now? Sorry, guys, I'm not wearing any gel in my hair. Uh huh. Don't worry about this. Oh my God. Uh huh. Worrying. Man, I'm worried. I'm worried because tomorrow. I have to pay the electricity and I have no money. Man, what am I doing? Right now is uh, the platform. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, you can paraphrase. What I am most worried about right now is the platform. Why, Jorge Ernesto? Um... Because you recently, recently talk about that. Because you recently talked about it. Talked. Talk. Okay. So you say talk. Talk. Okay. Now in past talked. Talk. 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 Ajá, al final. Talked. Talked. Good. Okay, okay. No, good to the daughter, you know, yeah, Freddy's daughter. Same. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry. So you say talk? Talk. Yeah. And there you go. You got it. You got it. Talked. Easy. You got it. Very good. You recently talked about it. That's a nice answer. Now, the purpose of these questions is for you to talk at least 30 seconds, you know, 30 seconds on each, on each question. Let me give you another example. Let's see. Mm, oh, of course, there are some questions that can help you, others not. Maho, how will you know if you were in love? Mm. Mm. Maybe because I feel butterflies in my stomach. Excellent. My stomach. I feel. I would feel. I feel. Uh huh. I feel butterflies in my stomach, mm -hmm. and always I think in in he. Uh, in what? I think a lot of in this person. Oh, you you think a lot about that person? Okay. Yes, and hmm. everything remind. At this person everything reminds me reminds me of this of person this person oh. and the songs that i listen sounds like his name oh my god i'm in love with my dog <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a good example Mao. great job okay you got it? So just go through the questions and attack your classmates, okay? Just go with, don't go like, yo voy a prestar la primera pregunta. No, yo, no, yo. Se fueron los 20 minutos and you're like, nobody talked, okay? So let's take advantage of the time. Let's go in small groups and let's kick it. Let's go.
Roberto, ya que está por acá, solamente aclarando Ajá. que voy a estar un poco intermitente en la clase, porque llevo cuatro días ya un poco enfermo y todavía me han dejado reposo por el momento, pero ya que nos gusta tanto el inglés, vamos a estar acá. Ok, you, you know what we're doing, right? So we are choosing just any question from the link that I send you. Click on the orange button so you can change the question. Change the question, okay? Okay. Hey. Hey, Oscar? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, see. Okay. I have a question here. Uh, uh, Roberto, what do you do in your spare time? Spare what, time. Spare time. Spare time. I don't know spare. the meaning. Spare, spare, spare time. Do you have a spare time in your car? On the trunk? The trunk of your car? You have a spare tire. Right? Also, you have a tire, a spare tire on your belly. I cannot show it to you, but you have a spare tire on your belly, right? It's like this. Spare tire. Free. Free time. Spare time. Spare time, free time. Okay. Thanks. Synonym. 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 Yeah. Or synonym. Synonym. Okay. My free times, uh, I usually play the piano and read some books. I have some books in this place <clears throat> and I watch some movies and some series okay thank and you. I enjoy with my family yeah <clears throat> if, if you want you can you can ask someone right now okay I'll try to open the link uh, Yes, I like it too much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and what, what is your name? Sorry, I um I'm biased with the names. Denise. Denise, yes. what is yes. something new that you've learned in the past week? I don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I think I I learned how to deal how to deal with a bad boss. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yes, he mm. was very mm. very bad <laughs> with the people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> He was very uh, mean. He was very mean with people. Mean. With people. Mean. That, with people. Okay, that's the word. He was really no, mean. The bird is the word. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you see lo entendí ese? Oh my God, yes. I can't believe it. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, Morelia, so what is your biggest pet peeve? I oh, I don't know what is peeve. I'm going to change the word, the the question. Uh, what okay. was your worst restaurant experience? Worst uh, experience. Your worst restaurant experience. Mm. Let me think. Um. Maybe was two years ago when I went with my little sister and the beef is not uh, bien cocinada. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure. I think it's well cooked. I okay. Think. The beef is wasn't uh well cooked, and she said, "I'm sorry. Can you cook that better, please?" You know, and me was something like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what is many? <laughs> what is happening here?" Because I when I didn't. Uh, see, my wife uh, uh, okay. cocina rico. No. It cook, 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 delicious. Okay. Uh, third person, third person. She, she cooks. She cooks delicious. delicious. Okay. Eh, cocina. Mm. Ella cocina. Rick. Uh, okay. You for here. Do you prefer okay. eat at home or eat out? In my home. Why? Why? Eh, because. Uh, working. No sé si lo dije bien. Continue. Excuse me. A continue the. O sea, me preguntó que si me gusta mi casa, pero no. No. Do you prefer eat at home yeah. or eat Come. out? Comer, comer casa, adentro comer de casa fuera. o afuera de casa. Oh. Sorry, uh, estamos siguiendo yes. el, el link. Yes. Ok, ok. No era ir. A ir en mi house. Uh, no, a ir live en mi house. No. I prefer. Excuse me? I prefer to eat, I prefer eating. Uh, I prefer eating my my house. In my house, okay. Freddy said student. What? Do you like your house? Yes, I like my house. It's interesting. My partner is jovial, como se dice. My partner is always happy. Is always. he going? Is he going? My partner is always happy that is no worry. Is um today different one what more do you do is techni technical and scientist process chemical green oh interesting i working in petenati mm -hmm. in san salvador and uh, Siri Ars, Siri Arce, Ars, Siri Ars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? What? Este. <laughs> what do you have any nicknames? Uh. Repeat, please. What? Um, what do you have? A midnight. Uh huh. Nicknames. Uh, 
¿Tienes algún apodo? Yes. <risa> Lo que podemos. Sí, la verdad. Exactly. La verdad es que sí, porque... <risa> La verdad es que la, las preguntas a veces son un poquito difíciles de contestar porque en español no es común que te pregunten ese tipo de temas. Exactamente. Y no es común también que desarrolles como eh, las palabras necesarias para poder ser a, a lo más objetivo y directo al momento de expresarlo. Pues. Sí, 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 en español respondemos eso. Ajá, o sea, en, en inglés español no salen esas preguntas. Tal vez es como que tal vez deberíamos de, no sé, que, que, como una idea, digo yo, eh, tratar de pronunciarlo en español y luego tratar de y decir lo mismo, pero en inglés, como tal vez como para que se tenga una idea de cómo estructurar mejor la, las oraciones. No sé si podría ser una opción. O oh, nos vamos así al... <ríe> a lo... Ese es el gran desafío. Ajá. Pensar en sí, inglés. Porque... Pensar en inglés. Ajá. Ajá. No sé, no sé si sería una opción así, ¿verdad? Que tradujéramos todo al, español, al inglés una vez ya tenida la... la una vez ya la tengamos idea. una respuesta. Ajá, una, una idea uh -huh. concreta. Uh -huh. Sí, bien. Porque acá yo acabo de, de hacer como un montón de, 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 de uniones y la verdad es que me ha costado porque llevo ratito ya de no estarme aprendiendo algunas palabras y me he desconectado bastante. Sí. Mm. Sin embargo, sí, Pero... sí, se le, sí se le pudo comprender, creo yo. Entendió. O sea, nosotros no sí. entendemos. Sí. Sí. sí, básicamente yo considero que sí, porque en ese aspecto es como depende de la madurez emocional y también de la visión que tengas del amor como para decir... Eh, que esa persona que acabas de conocer, eh, con el desarrollar y el, con el desarrollo y el tiempo que permanezcas con esa persona, si ambos se traen o ambos tienen esa madurez, puedan seguir juntos siempre, ¿verdad? Porque no es algo que no ha pasado, al contrario, es algo que pasa, suele suceder a veces. Y también la otra situación de que después de mucho tiempo es que se enamoran, ¿verdad? O sea, todo va a depender de, de, de cada uno, ¿verdad? Ok. Alex, eh, can you ask the other question? Quiero ver, sí. Eh, aquí tengo una. If you... It will be to Oscar or Miguel. Or to the teacher. To the teacher, say. <laughs> Ah, difícil. Pero, sí, Yo ahorita no estoy, tengo una. Solo que quiero ver cómo la estructuro. If you would be... No, pero la pregunta está en el enlace que envió el teacher. Sí, sí. Ah, la pregunta está en el enlace. Generar, generar sí, pues, no, de, no de random topic. Quiero ver. A una que dice... Ah, conversation, ok. Lo siento, no lo había visto. Ok, aquí está. Uh, what is one thing that you can not live with, without? What is one thing that you can not live without? Uh, ¿Sí se comprendió la pregunta? No. Yeah. Yes. I answer. Yes. Yes, I, I answer. I think uh, in my case, one thing what I, uh, in this case, cannot live uh, uh, maybe is my family and my sons. Uh, I, I have when I was maybe uh, 15 years, I uh, I need to have, a, a, I desire to have a family and with my sons and when my first son is, is come with, with us to my wife and, and me, it's a very important day 
uh, we have uh, waiting for for him many many uh, of many time of many forms and we love him we love him and I think uh, this is uh, the most important part of my life and uh, when the the my two songs and I think uh, I could uh, could not believe with without they. ¿Alguien me escucha? Ok. Sí. Yes. Excelente. Sí. Excelente, sí. Oscar. Excelente. Yes. Sí. ¿Quién, ¿Quién dijo? ¿Quién dijo? O Jorge, no. Eh, no Miguel. sé quién dijo, alguien me escucha. Miguel. Ah, Miguel. No, sí. es, Miguel. Es que he estado intentando hablar, pero de repente el inter se me corta, pero como hasta ahorita Ajá. que me, me respondieron sí. que sí me oyen. Sí. ¿Se escucha sí, algo sí, sí, lejos, sí, don Miguel? ¿Se escucha sí, algo lejos? Es que sí, como, se escucha, pero, pero lejos. Yo a pringar y no sé, tengo problemas con el Inter, entonces... Ah. Sí. Ahor ahorita se escucha bien, solamente lejos, pero se le escucha bien. Sí, eso les iba a decir, este, estoy viendo de que están haciendo algo, pero no sé qué es. Me, me, ah, me es que estamos... Tarde y, y como, mandé para el resumir... The old the house. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's all ladies here. Oh my God. Yes. I don't yeah. know. We are talking about ladies things. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> Hello, Anna. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot Girl about power. the questions and um um we are talking about anything <laughs> yes <laughs> okay i have a question for the four of you do you apply or have you applied the friend song to a friend <laughs> I don't want to answer that. <laughs> I don't have friends, so. <laughs> oh, come on. You never had friends, boyfriends, you know, boyfriends, <laughs> not girlfriends, boyfriends. Uh, Roxana. No, sorry, but I repeat, please. I don't understand too much. Okay. When you had friends. Yes. Did you, you know, like boys, boys, yes. right? Did you send one of them to the friend son? No. No. Do you know what is the friend son? Yes. No. no okay. Know. So let's say, let's say that, let's say that you had, you and I, you know, we are friends, and I and yes. I go like Roxana. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Let's be boy and girlfriend, okay? And you go like, no, I love you as a friend. You're my best friend in all uh, the world. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> oh. No. You still never had friends, okay. That, that You're lying, girls. I know you're lying. <laughs> Anyways, continue, continue. Throw another question. Okay. 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 Um, uh, um, I have one. Okay. If okay. You could have one super power. What would it be? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a hard, a hard question. Yes. Me, <laughs> I would like invisibility. Yes, me too. <laughs> yes, it, I think that your life will be will be uh more easy because yes. it's something like <laughs> other people is talking about you and you are there. You are going to know all about the conversation and the other people didn't know that you know so <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's 
it's an yes. interesting power. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, how about you, Ana Victoria? Ana Victoria is not here. Yes, I am here, but I had problems with my internet and my computer. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, can you repeat the answer or the question? Excuse me. Um, or could you repeat, please? I don't know who said the, the question. Uh -huh, Roxana, right? Roxana. Could you? Yes. Okay. Repeat the question. Ah, repeat the question. There's this, another one. Describe okay. your favorite type of pizza. I don't understand. I, I can't hear well your question. Okay, I'm going to change. What is the best thing about living in your city? In my city? Yes, your city. <laughs> my city, nothing. is very, the city is a little city with um, a lot of house. My favorite yeah. thing about summer is that you can go a lot of times to the beach and eat cocktail de conchos. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Nancy, estás ahí? Are you there? Are you? Okay, no. Yes, I hear you. And... And I mean, the summers, the butterflies. Another question, what, what is your favorite day of the week? My favorite day is is Thursday because um my question in English because uh yeah because the finishing weekend so it's friday friday for example my favorite day of the of the week is friday because it's the beginning of the weekend beginning okay the beginning of the weekend and you nancy my favorite day is Sunday. Okay, okay, okay. So, did you like that? Was that a good exercise? Now, yes. think about this as, yes. as an opportunity 
You can use choose on your free time, choose one question, you go through the questions, and the one that you think you can answer, try it. Try to answer the question. Record. Record yourself with your cell phone and then you see? So you can realize, you can realize, oh, I can I can handle this question. Did I make a mistake? Let's see what's the mistake. Easy. Okay, so tonight, let's see, uh, we are supposed to talk about vocabulary, serving and taking food orders. Has anybody here worked as a, as a waiter or waitress? Waitress. Have you ever worked as a waiter or waitress? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Nobody. You sell. Have you ever worked as a waiter or wait? I'm sorry, as a waitress in your case. Me? Yeah. Have you ever um, worked as a waitress? I don't know if uh count like a waitress, but. I was working in a uh, paleta salada. Okay. Store, una, una tienda de paleta salada. Cold only pops. Okay. Ice cream. Yes. Shop. Uh huh. Uh, I was working in in that uh place. That place, and the client has have. How to to select the toppings and the flavors uh or the lollipop. And I have to to ask about what do you prefer and what do you want in the in the lollipop? And sometimes I have to get it in the in the table. Okay, that's kind of a waiter job. It's similar, right? It's, That's very similar. Yeah, similar. But what it, what was the most difficult part of working like that? Wait for the selections of the client. What? Yes, because we we have a uh, flavors like a uh, strawberry kiwi or banana with chocolate or strawberry yogurt, it, it, in mango, um, we have a flavor named uh, chalateca, lollipop chalateca, yeah. because the place was, is in, in Chalatenango. Oh, it's okay. very delicious lollipop and all the flavors was natural. So, and, you, and you used to go like, would you like a chalateca? <laughs> oh, oh, no, really? The, the chalateca flavor is uh -huh. uh, lollipop uh, of lemon. Lemon, lemon with, lollipop? Uh -huh. Lemon lollipop with pepitoria. And mm. tajin. That, that, that's a mangoneada. That's a mangoneada. Similar, but in lollipop. Limoneada. It's, it's a uh -huh, lemon lollipop with uh, with uh, pepitorias. Yeah, mangoneada. It's very delicious. I don't like pepitorias. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds weird. <laughs> I, uh -huh, phrase? No, it's marketing lollipop. It's mangoneada. What? Yeah, that sounds no. like. No, no, it's mangonella. It's lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop is like a bonbon. In in our culture, a lollipop is a bonbon. Pero, but paleta. but uh -huh, you can say you can call lollipop a paleta. It's a paleta. Okay. okay. When I was a kid, yeah. th there was uh, this old lady close to the house. She used to sell lollipops, uh, ice iced lollipops made of okay. sapote with milk 
and um hokote what else yeah nanse those yeah. were delicious but what i will add to your paleta to your lollipop ice lollipop is um uh peanuts peanuts with chili chili peanuts not mm. not pepitoria but but chili peanuts with lemon lemon lollipop that sounds better i don't know it might taste but it it was really delicious really okay yeah you can put it on toppings like uh, chamoy or tahin Salt. I haven't I haven't tried the chamoy. My my kids are always talking about the chamoy and I don't know what it is. Is it chamoy like chili? Is... Chile. Un tipo yeah, de chile. Es... Ajá, es, es como un chile pero en árabe. English. Right? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It's English. a it's like a jelly uh spicy. Oh, the salt, opposite, the opposite, the opposite. Spicy, spicy jelly. It's something like that. Excellent. It's, it's delicious. You see, yeah. you can do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Good job. The worst... I invite you to to to, to, go, what? to, uh, to yeah. chalate. Oh my god, I'm really far away from chalate. I mean, my brother, yeah. my one of my well, my two brothers here in El Salvador. One lives in Ciudad Cultura, no Ciudad Ciudad Paraíso in Santa Ana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and and he married a girl from from Aguachapan. Wait, but you are on the other way, right? Chalatenango is on the other way. Like, yeah, forget it. Never mind. It's in the north of the uh, from San Salvador. Yeah, it's on the north, not the, the north. Wait, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. It's on the south. It's on the north. Southwest, because in the north is Santa Ana. North. Think about the map. Santa Ana is on the north. And then you have Guatemala, and then you have Mexico. Yeah. Yes. Think about what? the map. Picture the map. Picture the map yourself. You have okay. a, the map of El Salvador. Then after Guatemala, you have Santa Ana. And between of Santa Ana, you have Colotenango. Okay, that that's my point. So yes, it's on the same place, right? Yes. Okay, so yes, is it closer no. to Aguachapan? No. no. It's, uh, it's no. No. It's okay. closer the. Okay. So it's above San Salvador. It is above San Salvador. Is. It's on, on the street to go to a popa, right? Oh, in the okay. San Pal del Norte. Okay. You you go right and right and right to okay. to get to Chalatenango. To, 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 to reach to reach Chalatenango, okay? Yeah. Hmm. I will look at the map, but my internet is failing. I don't know why. Hey, let's go with this. What is the worst part of where working in that position? Waiting for customers to make up their mind. Look at the chat. Waiting for customers to make up their mind. Make up your mind. Phrasal verbs. Make up. Make up your mind. Up. Take a decision. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Make up your mind. That's okay. what a gringo will say. Come on, make up your okay. mind. Would you please make up your mind? Okay. Chocolate. Choc chocolate. Choc chocolate. Chocolate. Esto es un tanto difícil. Bueno, los americanos, los, los gringos lo hacen difícil. Porque el estrés de esta palabra está en la, prim en la segunda C. O sea, en choc late. chocolate. 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 Ahí. Esa C, que okay. suena a K, suena a K, literal, la letra K, y la K se produce acá. Ajá, eso, Freddy. Choc. Late. Choc. No, ni siquiera decís colate, sino que late. 
chocolate. Chocolate. There you go, Giselle. Good. Chocolate. Y la otra, yogurt. 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 I love yogurt. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Giselle. So uh, before I move on, let me give a little feedback to the breakout rooms. The word series. You say series, series, series. What series do you prefer? Series, series? No, series, series, series. I, Ziri, Ziri, series. That's a great Netflix series. That is a great Netflix series. Like Breaking Bad. I think it's not longer in Netflix, right? I don't know. Ok, algo muy común que solemos hacer es porque padecemos de dislexia desde el momento en que empezamos a dar pininos, a aprender inglés, es que eh, nuestro cerebro se hace maruchan y empezamos a darle vuelta a los sonidos de las consonantes después en la vocal, como en esa palabra. Así cabal, decís ax. Let me ax the teacher. Ax the teacher... ¿Cómo corrijo esto? Primero noto que tengo un problema con esa palabra, entonces me enfoco en estresar la S, es decir, extender la S un poco. Ask, 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 ask. Segunda forma que podrá parecer ridícula, pero es muy lógico. Hay palabras en español que se parecen a las de inglés, ¿no? ¿A qué palabra se parece? Ask. Asco. There you go. Ask o quitar la O. It's going to ask. Um, how do you say iglesia in English? Church. Oh. And how do you say del gallo? Chorcha. Chorcha. Le quitas la A. Really? Le quitas la A y lo primero es church. Church. Se suena, suena como muda la A. Church. Ahí. There you go. Next words, um, you have answer, answer, que es lo que estaba escuchando, answer, uh -uh. answer. Teacher, pero digo que dicen answer. Haceme caso de sí, answer, ahorita. Después, te lo juro que va a sonar answer, answer, porque no es answer, 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 answer. Ok, hace de caso que los dos son E, answer. Lo mismo pasa con una palabra que termina en T-I-O-N, como education, celebration, va a sonar a S-H-E-N. Por eso, question. I have a question. Can I make you a question? Shen, shen, shen. No, shen, como E, no O. Question. I got a question. Education. 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 Vibration. So many words. Vibration. Education. Education. Shin. Education. Shin. Uh -huh. No digan shon, sino shen. Con e. Yeah. Location. Location. Very good. Location. Okay, let's have some education on waiters and waitresses this is a beautiful profession is it difficult yes it is one of the most difficult jobs in the world being a waiter or a waitress you have to be standing all day i mean all your shift you have to be standing it's really tired now in this lesson we will try to learn uh variety 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 of procedures we will learn a variety of procedures going on in different areas areas of a restaurant restaurant so procedures <clears throat> are procedures in a restaurant important and i did it wrong sorry are procedures in a restaurant important important is a customer's experience 
in a restaurant affected by procedures? So I'll do some examples and you will practice these questions really quick in five minutes with your classmates. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, they are very important. Why? Because in a restaurant, you need order. Okay? Please. You need order. You don't have to have chaos. Chaos. Okay? It's not chaos, by the way, like Dragon Ball. No. Chaos. Okay? Uh, that's what you need to prevent. Prevent chaos. Chaos. Chaos with order. And you can only have order if you have procedures. What procedures? Uh, first of all, design the positions, you know, who receives the customers, okay? And that person is the host. That's the host. You know what is a host? Okay, good. Someone who receives the guests, someone who receives the guests, okay, or customers at the restaurant and assigns the table or asks the customers to wait at the entrance, at the lobby. And that is part of the experience in a restaurant. So, yes, a customer experience is affected by procedures. First question for you, has this ever happened to you? You go to a restaurant, there's a huge line waiting to go in the restaurant. Yes? How about going to Denny's? Have you been to Denny's in San Salvador, in the Zona Rosa? In Santa Ana, City. Is it full, Freddy? Is it always full in Santa Ana? Yes. Because here in San Salvador is always full. I've been there once. I just went there once. Wait, no, twice, twice. I went there twice, but there was not a lot of people. You know, there it wasn't so crowded. How do you say kuche in English? P. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I meant to say kuche in Salvadorian. What's the meaning of kuche in Salvadorian? Yeah, no. Full of people, right? Yes, crowded. Crowded. <laughs> it, it, it was crowded all the time. When I went to Dennis, it was crowded. So no, no, thank you. No, thank you. Rattly or, well, sometimes in at Pizza Hut is the same situation. What do you do when it's crowded? What do you do? Wait. Okay. No. No what? In another um, restaurant to to eat. You look for another restaurant. Look for another restaurant. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's another verb you should use. Look for another option. Look for another restaurant. Go to eat pupusas, whatever. But no waiting, right? Okay. So go ahead. You have only five minutes to answer these questions. Are procedures in a restaurant important? There are different areas in a restaurant, right? So let's first think about your job. Do you have procedures at your workplace to follow? Can you give me one example, Denise, or someone? Because Denise is nodding. So. Uh, in my case, I, I actually I work with procedures and <laughs> because we need to follow a logic order and and I have to make the the I don't know how to say this <laughs> um 
como de hacer valer los procedimientos. I don't know. You have to make sure you have to make sure everybody follows the rules, follows the follows procedures. The, mm -hmm. Follows the procedure. Yeah. That's your job. Part Going, of my job. <laughs> you you go around your job with a chincho on your hand. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Something like. That. Are you are you uh upset? You know, like are you uh, a serious person? No. 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 Uh, you, I'm don't not. Look, you don't look like <laughs> no. a serious person. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be difficult for you. Okay. Okay. So procedures. What happens if someone? Don't follow the, the procedures, Denise. Uh, that be becomes a pro problem for audits. Really? Yes. Because I work with a financial entity and we are we have regulator. Regulations? Yes, regulations. Mm. Okay, so oh, so what you mean is that you can get a fine, or you can get sued. You could get a what penalty? I don't know how how to say most multa. Yes, penalty. Yeah, fine, fine. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, but a fine is imposed by another entity, as you said, a fine. Is is a contractual punishment? Is a contractual penalty, and you signed for it. Le dijo a los de a los o esa entidad si yo fallo en esto ustedes me clavan veinticinco mil dólares. And it happens in my my job. I, I work with prepaid cards in the states, and and of course we have insurance. I work for the disputes department. You know, when someone's money was stolen, I investigate and I resolve the problem. But if we made a mistake, it's our fault and we get a penalty, we get a fine. Okay. Customers, customers can sue you. Okay. Customers can sue you. Okay. Um, and there are fees. And you can charge okay to your customers yeah you charge fees you charge fees to your customers we will see some of this vocabulary later so for now yeah following rules is important if not there are consequences consequences right next question Freddy is, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures Think of you as a customer. You go to Pizza Hut and they don't let you in without a mask. You must wear a facial mask. Today, 2023, what, October 31st, they don't let you in without a mask. How do you feel, Fredis? The mask using the people in the restaurant is no, <laughs> get my point you are the customer you go to pizza hut and they go like no 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 freddy's no 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 mask no in you don't go in sorry ah uh, okay is the mask in in the time is indifferent for the um, pandemia is finished, no problem. So how would you feel? Everybody else is wearing a mask, but not you. And Business. everybody's watching you, Freddy. They go like, mm -hmm. oh my God. <laughs> Is complicated for my jobs. Is under ruler. 
es um, no las han levantado como se dice no no pick up the ruler in the they haven't know. they haven't removed the the rules they have removed the rules in and actually that, that's not a rule i'm sorry it's a protocol they okay. haven't removed the protocol lo siento chicos, a veces si, si ven que me estoy así como muy clavado hacia otro lado y so, les estoy poniendo atención porque eh, tengo a alguien, eh, ayer lo conocí a Denise, que siempre está la por mí y es como un poco hostigue, pero a veces estoy pendiente, me gusta que él esté la por mí porque a veces le agarran ataques de epilepsia y es como, me pongo, me asusto fácilmente cuando siento que se está moviendo la silla, mi perro, sorry, es mm -hmm. un husky y a veces le agarran, le agarra bien feo. Sí, so, bueno. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry. So, yes, you can say, Freddy, it's embarrassing. 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 Es vergonzoso. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing. I okay. will be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed. I will be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Emb embarrassed. Okay. I think I'm missing one S there. So, you got the point. You have to answer these two questions. I hope you got the idea. Espero que hayan agarrado la idea. That's our first topic tonight. Our procedures in a restaurant important. Imagínense la cocina si no se siguen procedimientos. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Of course. But why? Ahora, les recuerdo que estos ejercicios son la única meta o lo que persiguen es hacerlos hablar ustedes, que ustedes no se queden callados, ok, so en los breakout rooms, no traten de no hablar español porfa, y número dos eh, um, participen, o sea no pierdan el tiempo organizándose ni encontrándole sentido a lo que estamos haciendo, ni pitufando just do it, just do it ¿por qué les digo esto en español? perdón, eh, pero quiero que nos adaptemos a algo, que se adapten a una cosa les decía que el día piensen en que son empleadores, o sea, piensen que tienen una empresa grande, mediana, como ustedes gusten, pero tienen una empresa, pongan el nombre. Y dos, tienen siempre no perder de vista la perspectiva del empleado, del, del empleado. O sea, tienen que tener esas dos perspectivas. Y número dos, pensar en que aquí, de aquí en adelante, hasta avanzado seis, tienen que, um, ¿cómo se dice esto? Eh, overthinking, tiene que repensar todo, eh. ser creativos en sus respuestas y pintar escenarios que no están dentro de su contexto diario ¿verdad Alex? ¿por qué digo esto? porque como estudiante de inglés y como ser humano tenés una rutina y a veces esa rutina es lo más aburrido de todo el mundo ¿ok? entonces tenés que salir de esa burbuja y plantearte otros escenarios posibles que te gustaría vivir entonces, pensalo. Eso que te acabo de decir para que de qué te va a servir de mucho. Encontrar mucho vocabulario, ¿ok? So let's do it. Let's use these two word questions really quick. No more than 10 minutes and we come back, ¿ok? Okay. Let's do it. Go, Mike. So is is a customer facing is a procedure. Okay. What? Um, George. Hi. Why? Why? Um. Procedor. ¿Cómo era la pregunta? Porque ahora sí ya se me fue. 
this our procedure in a restaurant is important. Uh, number one is the presentation. The the employees or uh, the attention. Okay. Uh, the, the most important is uh, the organization. Okay. Is the the follow procedure to maintain order because it allows you to be more efficient the restaurant. Uh, Eduardo and Brandon. Roxana. Hello. Hello. I think it's it's good because this helps to to have um, a better organization in a restaurant and you can give um, a better attention to to the customers I think. Okay. Brandon. Yes. Eduardo, Brandon. Hello. George. Okay. Continue, George. I think uh, that uh, it's necessary uh, uh, because uh, the process pro the procedure the process uh, in a restaurant procedures procedures procedures. Procedures. Esa palabra la vas a encontrar mucho en call centers, ¿eh? Muchísimo. Procedures. Procedures. No, procedures. Procedures. In a restaurant. Restaurant. Sorry. Uh, 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 see you see two point. See you see two point. The. Um, you can you can solution um can solve all other you can solve other problems in a restaurant uh, the repente se me olvida como se dice de repente suddenly 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 uh, uh, is very good have a uh, steps to steps by how to process how to how to como se dice como se diría proceder proceed I think Digamos que proceder, proceder, proceder. proceder. I don't know. To proceed. Uh, to proceed. Okay. It is necessary have to uh is necessary have to step to step 
procedure, proceed uh, all time. The, the top. How about you, uh, Morelia, Morelia Perdomo? How about you, Morelia? Hello? Hi. Do you listen yes. to me? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, the procedures are important in in a restaurant or other place because you have to have like a manual to to can resolve problems and uh you have to have steps. To, to do the work. For example, you can serve the, the food without have a, an, an order. Yeah. And with the with procedures, uh, specifically procedures, you, you can do your work better, I think. So it's important. And it's like more, more, Agile, I think the work is more agile. Achievable. 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 Okay. Achievable. What is achieve. the meaning of achieve? achieve to reach. Achievable? To reach something. Uh, no, I, I can I, I wanted to say there is ag agile. Agile? Agile. I don't know. Okay. I think you're agile. looking for the word efficient. Yes. Yes, you can <laughs> you can be more efficient. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yes. Okay, the next question is, is I can believe it. No puedo creerlo. I can, I can believe it. Porque et, et. Can believe it. No puedo et. creerlo. I can believe it. And ah, I can believe it. Can believe it. Yep. Some Americans say, can trust my eyes. Man, can trust my eyes. No puedo confiar mis ojos, o sea, no creo lo que mis ojos ven. Okay, can trust my eyes. Okay, so that was like the intro to this topic. Let's move on with the second exercise. Okay, on the same page, you have exercise number two. But before that, we need to understand what is a procedure and there is a difference between procedure and procedures now oh, hold on let me see yeah procedure and procedure it's very similar similar writing the same writing actually but the pronunciation is different now be careful on how you proceed, be careful on how you proceed with your life. Oh, please proceed, uh -huh. proceed. What's the meaning of proceed? It means to carry on, to move on, 
to move on with an activity. Proceed. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And yes, they are related. If you say procedure, it's a set of actions in and specific order. I just made this up. It's a set of actions in a specific, 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 in a specific. In a specific. Mm. I'm doing wrong there. Hold on. Let me rewrite that. It's a, um, ah, no, an. Okay. In a specific order. So it's a set of actions in a specific order. So those are, that's a procedure. How do you do something in order? First, for example, when I do my home chores, okay? When I do my home chores, first, okay? I undust, I undust everything. This thing is not taking it. Undust, undust. This is right, okay. First thing I do is I undust everything. Don't tell me that's German, this is, yeah. It's separated guys, I'm sorry. It's on and then dust. So I undust everything. Then I, what do I do then? Okay, I sweep the floor. I sweep the floor. Then I mop the floor. Okay. But I'm, I'm missing one step actually. Because the first thing that you do after you undust, or while you undust, I will say uh, while you undust, you organize or lift your furniture. That's what I do. I lift my furniture, for example, the chairs on the on the dining room, the chairs on the dining room, I put them on top of the table, backwards, facing down. I put the chairs facing down and I clean the, the foot of the chairs because I have a hush key, so I have a lot of hair in my floor, okay? So <laughs> I have to clean the foot of all the chairs and the sofa, you know, the living room, I have to vacuum. And while I sweep, when I go sweeping, I go vacuuming all the hair as well. And then I mop. How many times do you mop your floor? I do it like three times. Now, I do all this process at least at least once a week. Once a week. Because my house is, you know, the bigger the house, the more you have to clean. It's, it's crazy. So, but there's a procedure. Now, question to you. Can I mop and then sweep the floor? No, right? Hmm. Can I sweep the floor and then undust everything? No. It's just logical. Okay. And the, those are these are procedures, examples of procedures. Questions? Uh, when the um, in the restaurant, sometimes. Uh, they have a um, list for um, time for clean, but 
That's a good point. <laughs> two or three times in the day or more times? During. Say during. During. Okay. Uh, during the day. Good, Ana Victoria. It's true. Two or three times during the day. The bathrooms must be cleaned. And there is a list. Now, is the list of names and times a procedure? Is the list of names and times in the bathroom a procedure? Yes, because they organize. organize they organize? Organize. Who is, who? who is the responsible? Who's the responsible? Very good. The they responsible. organize. Who is the responsible? Hmm. What do you think, guys? Is it a procedure? It's not procedure. The, proce the procedure is this. This, this describe describe the step the step um uh, cómo hacer las cosas pero uh, do things you got it you got it Freddy's a good job the procedure describes the steps on how to do things easier okay. Uh, easier procedures, not teacher, because procedures describe the how to. Describe the, okay. The procedure describe the step on how to think. How, how you do things, how you do things, very good. I think we all have it clear, right? Like, Mm, give me an example, an example of an action that needs procedures. Can you name just one action that you do at your job or even in your house, in your life, one procedure? I mean, one action that needs procedures. And in my work, preparing the receipt and... Um, um, uh, something is open the the um, open the tina. No mm -hmm. sé cómo se dice. It's okay. Bien, porque un nombre lo puedes decir en español. No hay problema. Si no encuentras open. la. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, open the tina and. Uh, Fruta, Gen yes. <laughs> Sorry. Fruit. Fruit. This is my lexico. <laughs> I know, we're in El Salvador, don't worry. Uh -huh. um, uh, it's lleno, pongo agua. Oh, you fill, you fill in with water oh. the pile, la pila? Uh, tina. 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 The the top the top. Mm -hmm. I I fill the tina with water and other all the acetic acid two gram per liter and per, per liter. Uh huh. I'm mixing for five minutes. Uh, Luego, then, then, uh, next, the softening agent and mixing for three minutes. Then, um, uh, measure pH, medir, medir measure, measure pH, it the Mesh pH and uh, process the sample in machine. In the machine. In the, the machine. Super rápido, Freddy. Great job. Super bien. 
el artículo de, chicos, y eso se me olvidó explicarlo el día que les expliqué el artículo, ¿se acuerdan de? De, se ocupa con objetos Demasiado. comunes, objetos o lugares comunes. Ok. That's very important. I'll look for it later. Hay una imagen que me encanta, eh, pero la tendría que buscar en otro momento. Bueno, so, the doctor. Common visited places, lugares que visitas frecuentemente. The doctor, the beach, the supermarket. Ahí you see, this is, let's go to the supermarket. Um, si solo hay una cosa de eso, como en el ejemplo de phrase, measure the pH. Ok, estás ocupando acrónimo, de hecho es el pH. Creo que eso quiere decir algo, ¿no? El P. Este es, es. pH es, es uh, el acidez de, de las. Ajá, es el acidez. Pero, pero la P significa algo y la H otra cosa, ¿no? En no liquid yellow wind. Something. Yeah. Mm, chemical. Ajá. You got it, you got it. Entonces, mm. eso es lo único. The pH. El the, pH, yeah. the, the pH, uh -huh. measure pH, measure the pH, gram per liter, gram per liter. Okay, good job. So we have the idea of what's a procedure. Let's move on. Um, your next task, tan, 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 number two. You need to number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order. Teacher, but I'm not a waiter. I know. Use your logic to organize the steps one to six. One to six. I'm not going to tell you. You have to do it. This is very simple. Okay. Just use the logic. I'll send you the image right now. This is exercise number two on page 17. Let's do this in, a, in another five minutes. Okay. Eh, si sí les voy a suplicar de nuevo que participen porque llegué a un grupo y todos estaban callados así como ok todas las cámaras apagadas todo el grupo callado yo, eh, este no ok let's do it Alex, Eduardo, Miguel, let's go, let's go, Ana Victoria. Um, yes, it's in the WhatsApp. Yeah, so we I... have to order, we have to order all the steps. Okay. In a logic order. First, I think that is greet the customer. Uh, greet the customer. I don't know then, what is the meaning of greet. Do you know what is the meaning salud. of greet? Oh, salud. okay. Uh -huh. so, greet the greetings. Greet. Greetings. Saludos. Uh, second, sit the customer. Sit the customer, yes. And then take the order. I take think, take, take customers. customers. Order, yeah. Please Number confirm. four, confirm the order. Confirm. Um, what is the confirm. meaning of handle? Handle? Handle the food correctly. I don't know. Let me see. Handle. Um, confirm. Handle. Is manejar? Oh. So, maybe, uh -huh. so I think that is, that is the next one I think because the last one is serve the food I think that is, that is when when the, the waiter 
is going with the the food and put it in the behind the correct table. I think it's the number five and serve the food is como it's like uh put the how do you say plato? Dish. Yeah, ah, uh, put the dish and the with the correct person, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm agree with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, first, first is greet the customer. Second, set the customer. Third is take customer order. After that, uh, confirm the, the order. And five, handle the food correctly. And finally, serve the food. Yes, I think it is. I don't know. I don't know if someone Things. Mr. Teacher, yeah. Yeah. practice, please uh, read the, the six. Six. Question nine is five. Why? The first one, uh, read the customer. The second one, sit the customer. You want take the customer's order. The four first step confirm the order. Five handle the food correctly, and the last one serve the food. Yes. I will send the answers to the chat, George. Let me let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah. One take customer orders. To serve the food, three confirm the order, four greet the customers. No. No. I will send the the. The I, first one. I have is sent the answer. The customer. Andrea. And confirm. The, the, the first one, George, it's greet the customer. Yes. The second no. one is. Sit the customer in confirm question two. Sit the customer, okay. The third one, George, you can see your chat. I, I send the, the answers, okay. Okay, only for you is a direct message. customer orders. For open application, upload information, analysis information. And evaluation the chemical number cast. And sorry, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, we talk about the pressure, pressure. procedures for the, uh -huh. procedures for the activities in in works. In my work, I. But did, did, did you finish? Did you finish the? Um, I no. <laughs> Come on, like yeah. to the waiters. <laughs> yes. We had a uh, confused with the activity. activity. Confused <laughs> in activity is the procedure or the the 
second, number the second. The number is tip I will follow and take and uh, several an order. No. No. No, no, no you, solo tienes que hacer el ejercicio dos. Numerar ah. los pasos que sigue un, un mesero. Ah. Ok. Ok. <laughs> Nos fuimos para otro lado. <laughs> yep. Ok. Um, take customer order. And this, this is the first step. It's number one. Uh-huh, number one, step. take customer order. Okay, confirm the order is number it's two. Number two. Mm -hmm. Seal the customer. What is seal? What seal? is seal? It's no seal, seal. I assume what more. Okay, what is seal? Seal. Okay. Seal the customer. Sit. Sit. The sit. You, sit. you may sit down. Yeah. Sentarse. Sit down. Oh. Entonces ese es el uno. Yes. Uh -huh. And the number two is take customer order. Second is create the customer. One. See the customer is number one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And no, number two, take the customer order. Oh, and great. number three, confirm great. the order. Uh -huh. Yes. Three, take customer orders. Order. Okay. Order. Order. And. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Is the number one is see the customer. Yes. Number uh, two is create the customer. Uh -huh. Create the customer. The number three is take a customer order. Yes. Okay. Confirm. Confirm. Confirm the uh -huh. order. Um, continue number four. Five. Five and six. Yes. Found the food. The several Correct. of the food. Correctly. <laughs> it's number Five. four. Five. Why? Handle the food correctly. Mm -hmm. Number five in the last is serve the food. Serve the food is number four. No. It's not four. Oh, confirm the order. Four. It's several four. Uh, in Spanish. Después de, de tomarle la orden, confirmar yeah. la orden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is number one is sell the customer. Number two, take no. customer. No, sell the customer is number two. So number uh, one uh, is greed. No. Sit. 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 Number one. Sit is number one. Uh -huh. To greet the customer. What? To? Cuando tú llegas al restaurante, ¿qué haces primero? ¿Te toman la orden o te sientas? Me siento. Ok, sit. The mm -hmm. customer. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number two, it take customer order. Number three, confirm the order. Number four, is sever the full. Pero si fueras el... Camarero, no. primero senta, este, sentarías a los este, clientes, después los saludarías, después les tomaras la orden, después confirmarías. <ríe> Entonces, greet the customers. Greet the customers. Okay. Veamos, okay, sí. Depende. It depends. 
oh, and, and, the, and the songs customers. and some restaurants. There's a is great. Oh, great. I don't know what. Pero primero saludarías al cliente. Please. Uh -huh. saludarías. Okay. Que dicen bienvenido y te llevan a la mesa. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces es. Greet the customer. Okay. Well, there's a whole discussion about this topic. Let's see. Okay, you guys are missing. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, so we're back. Let's see who's right, who's wrong here. So, which is number one? Greet the customer. Are you sure? Greet yes, the customer. Yes. See the customer. Yes, I agree with you. You greet a customer first, and then what? Then sit the customer. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Sounds weird, right? Okay, sit the customer. Uh huh. Take the customer. Take the customer's order. Order. Hmm. Number three. Okay. Yes. It's logical, right? Okay, so you take the order and then what? And then confirm, confirm the, order. the order. Yes, yeah. you confirm, confirm the order. And then what? Confirm. Handle the food. Handle the food. Handle the food. Correct. What? Serve the food or handle the handle, food? No, no, handle fine. The handle the food. Correctly. No, good. You handle the food correctly. What's the meaning of handle? Handle. Manipular. Handle the food. Manipular. Manipular, right? It's not manejar, right? Very good. In ese contexto is manipular. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good job. You got it. Thanks. It was easy. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to send you this so you can have it with you. And let's move on to the next part of this page. Just check the lesson plan. Hmm. Okay, I need your help with this. Uh, we have another exercise on this same page, but we just need to find the meanings. Well, we already understood what is handled, right? But I have a challenge for you. Can you, in your own words, tell me what's the meaning of handle? It's when you um, manipulate the food. You manipulate. Uh, but give me synonyms for handle. Handle. Take. Take the dishes, maybe. Oh, but go out of the context of. Okay. Of yeah, a um, restaurant or a waiter. Just the word handle. How do you explain what's the meaning of handle? Handle is something like take some some something with your hands and move the plate, maybe, but with your hands. Move it. Move it. Move. Uh -huh. To another move place. Thing. Move the thing move to the it. move the thing elsewhere. Move the thing elsewhere. 
a otro lugar. Yeah. Okay, good job. Huh. Any other definition or synonym? What's a synonym for handle? Cause. To carry. Carry, okay. What did you say, Freddy's? Translate. Transport. Transport. Hmm. Serve the food. Not, don't forget about the food right now. Don't worry, just vocabulary. So handle guys, the most appropriate synonym will be manage. Okay, manage, to manage something, to manage something, okay? Confirm, give me a synonym for confirm or describe it in your own words. Just to confirm. Make sure of something. Make sure of something. Okay. Make sure of something. Okay, what else? There is one word that I used before. Establish the proof. Establish the proof. That's too... Something else. Establish the um. truth to confirm establish the truth but it's it makes sense established yeah reconfirm no <laughs> confirm is reconfirm no something else come on guys confirm I used this word before. Come on, guys. Paraphrase. 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 Let's see if I got it right. Paraphrase. What is the meaning of paraphrase? Paraphrasear. It's just repeating what you heard to make sure you got it. Make sure that you got it right to establish what the other person said. Make sure it, it is right. Okay. Payment. Come on. Don't Payment. speak Spanish. Don't use Spanish. Payment. Payment. Receive money. Receive money. And that's instead the instead of instead that, of a service or in in oh in exchange. In ex yes. <laughs> You're very close, but you don't receive it. It's, well, if you are the owner of the restaurant, yes, you receive it. You collect it. The action of process of paying someone or something. Let's use both, okay? Giving Give... money. Exactly. Giving or... money. Come on. This... I will say it's just the giving money in exchange of a service or product. Payment. Now, this sounds like an action. Payment. Mm -hmm. Synonym payment. Can I Retainer. Retailer? Alex? Retailer. Retainer. Retainer. Not retainer. Retainer. 
Yeah, retainer. Retainer. No. Um retainer. Retainer, that no. sounds no. Mm. It's just payment. There are payment methods like debit, credit, cash, check, etc. Transfer, money transfer. Okay. Those are payment methods. But yes, it's just what you give, the money that you give in exchange of a service of a, or a product. Let's move on. Greeting, greeting. That's easy. Meet. What? Huh? Meet. Meet? Mm -hmm. That's meeting. Maho. Meeting. <laughs> no. What is a greeting? I'm going to give you a synonym because I know you may not know this. What is a wave? What is a wave? Uh-huh. Maho, say it. Say it, Maho. What is a wave? Wave is... I don't know how to say it. Ooh. In Spanish, what is it? Hola. <laughs> hola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hola. Right, no hola de hola. Sino hola. The matter, right? Mm -hmm. Wave. So, waving. Greeting. Waving. Hey. Tip. Hey. I like waving everyone. I, I like waving to everyone. Every morning, you know, in the office, I like waving to everyone. Hey, Jorge. Hey, Freddy. What's up? Hey, boss. Waving. Okay. Got it? Got it. So next time, the próxima vez no digas, me gusta saludar a todos. I like to say hello, to say hello, to say hi to everyone. No, I like waving when I get home, when I get to work. Waving all. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay. Uh, greeting. Say hello. Good morning. Okay. Mm. Notify. To notify. Notice. So to give notice yes. of something, right? Give notice of something. Notify. Inform. 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 Okay. To notify. Uh, excuse me, your order will be ready in 20 minutes, okay? It's notifying you. Okay. Uh, excuse me, you are fired. I'm just notifying you. How about I say? Okay. Good, guys. I hope you liked tonight's lesson. Tonight, I'm staying with um, da -da -da -da, Freddy's Ricardo Landa Verde. Listen, Freddy. Oh, no, you're staying 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Nos quedamos diez minutos. Ay, ok. Yes. Ok. Good night, everybody else. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Alex. Ah, es que está practicando entre los juicios, dice. <laughs> <laughs> ok, hey Alex no se te olvide la plataforma, ok a todos, no se les olvide la plataforma please, Ana Raquel Campos Ayala Ana Raquel she's not here Ana Victoria Galán Cantón present thank you, no se les olvide la cámara Brandon Alexis yeah. Velázquez Ayala present Excellent. Good night, man. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present and Doc. Work. Okay. Good night. Freddy is Ricardo Landa Verde. Present and friends. 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 Good. Jorge Alberto Laines Diaz. Present. How I can. Good night. Good night. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Luis Eduardo Reyes. I thought I saw Luis somewhere here. Okay. Maria Jose Escobar Portillo. Present murder. <laughs> murder? Wow. Okay, good time. I have searching new words. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. Send it to the chat. Okay. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Where is Maritza? Maritza was here earlier. Oh my God. Okay. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. There is Miguel Marroquín. Okay. Okay, Miguel. Thank you. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Ginger. Good night. Good night, Ginger. Bye bye. Nancy Carolina <laughs> Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. 19. 19. That's good. Oscar Eduardo Melendez Martinez. Present offer. Offer. Good job. Roberto Ernesto Morales Colindres. Present restaurant. Restaurant. That's a good one. Good night, man. Get better. Thanks. Roxana Geraldina Wandique Ortiz. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Good night, Roxana. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Guys. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Hey. Eh, ¿Qué puedo hacer para mejorar? Porque a la par de mis compañeros estoy. Perdido. <laughs> Wait. Era mi minuto. Bye, Jorge. Ok, bien. Eh, ok. Predis, vamos a analizar la situación, hacerlo así. Eh, yo suelo abrir estas sesiones la primera vez eh, con un grupo con tres preguntas bien sencillas. La primera, ¿cuál ha sido tu experiencia con el inglés? O sea, de dónde venís rebotando sin, sin uh, mencionar nombres de academia, en verdad. ¿Cuál ha sido tu experiencia con el inglés? Y a este punto, después de toda esa experiencia, has logrado identificar cuál es su talón de Aquiles, qué es lo que te mata, qué es lo que no te deja avanzar, que tú decís, esto es lo que me cuesta. O sea, porque hay varias cosas, ¿no? Está la escritura, la gramática, es decir, la escritura, la gramática, eh, el listening, el speaking, hablarlo, eh, entenderlo. ¿Qué es lo que te cuesta? Y la tercera pregunta. ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo, Freddy? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Aparte de recibir estas dos horas de clase, ¿qué más hago para mejorar el inglés? Um, es, para mí es bien difícil el inglés, aparte de mi acento normal con el que yo hablo. Entonces, practicar el inglés, porque tengo un acento, no sé si escucha, mi acento es, es diferente, es más para practicar francés. Entonces, es, es un poco complicado por esa parte. Y la otra es que yo entiendo bastante al, al leer, uh -huh. porque mi trabajo leo bastante en inglés, hay muchos procedimientos, y, pero para expresarme es... es como que me falta vocabulario, me falta retener vocabulario y expresarlo, unir en el momento. Sí, porque yo a veces lo escucho a usted y, y entiendo muchas de las palabras, pero no logro. Eh, Por estar pensando en una palabra que escuchaste, te quedas trabado y ya no seguís con lo que sigue. <ríe> con... Sí. Ay, me perdí en la conversación. ¿Qué está diciendo ahora? Y de repente, otra palabra. Ah, ok. ¿Qué decir esa palabra? Ah, ya me acordé. Uy, pero ¿qué dijo después? Ah. <risa> y generalmente no traduzco. Yo soy bastante así, pero... Uh -huh. Yo creo que lo que más me falta es vocabulario. Es, uh -huh. es vocabulario. Porque así usted puede como anexar y uniendo y haciendo... Ok, es... ok. ¿Y qué estamos haciendo aparte de recibir las dos horas de clase para mejorar esa situación? Ah, 
complicado. Nada, nada, nada. Ok. Tranquilo. La verdad es que... Pero ¿por Es qué estás que... aprendiendo inglés? Es una meta personal. Yo voy a ser bilingüe. No, Mona es... En serio, se lo digo, Muy no personal. es... No, no, no. Es que es en serio. La superación personal muchas veces es datada de una superación económica. O no tanto económica, sino una meta personal de alcanzar un sueño. Y eso está bien. Nada, es, es un reto conmigo mismo. Yo tengo que hablar inglés. Lo que venga después, bueno, voy, en el fin de año voy a ir a Estados Unidos, tengo unas oportunidades, pero, pero no es por eso. Yo quiero hablar inglés. Es una meta y lo que yo me pongo yo lo alcanzo. Así es que no sé cuánto tiempo me va a tardar, pero lo voy a hacer. Yo estaba a punto de hablarte de optimismo, pero me llega súper bien. Esa es la actitud. Es lo primero, lo primordial. Tener claro lo que uno quiere y pues saber que el, lo, que se, lo que toma es 1% de inspiración y el 99% de transpiración. Acción. Acción, solamente eso, transpirar, o sea, sudarla, como decimos en salvadoreño. Y si ya estás inspirado, ya, ya sabes qué es lo que querés. Hay que ponerle fecha. ¿Para cuándo? Yo, Freddy, hablo inglés a la perfección. Claro, como les decía en su momento, no la perfección es solo una ilusión, pero vale la pena perseguirla porque así alcanzamos la meta y ni cuenta nos vamos a dar. En ese contexto, agarrar vocabulario, a mí me costó... Eh, Quizá el hecho de, de, de creerme que hablaba inglés porque no sabía qué tanto vocabulario había adquirido. Porque no, no, no seguía un patrón, un, un procedimiento, sino simplemente iba guardando el vocabulario, lo repetía cuando quería, o sea, lo, lo rellamaba en mi cerebro cuando yo quería. Era un proceso que, que, que yo pude hacerlo, o sea, no todos lo hacemos. Entonces, ¿cómo lo hago? ¿Cómo hago que mi cerebro se grabe algo sin forzarlo? Hay que darle contexto. Darle contexto. Ahora, ¿cómo le das contexto cuando estás aprendiendo? La gramática es la base, aparte del vocabulario. Entonces, ahí les envió un PDF, si se acuerdan. Él decía Homework Rhythm. Fue el primer PDF que les envié. Entonces, esa tarea yo me la inventé en el 2016 y funciona. Solo es de agarrar un verbo y pensar en una palabra que está relacionada al verbo. Y ya. Es lo único, el único proceso en español que hace el cerebro. Después de eso empieza con positivo, negativo, pregunta. Ya hice una. Siguiente verbo, siguiente palabra. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. ¿Pero de qué? Bueno, el lunes. Presente simple. Martes. No sé, otro pasado simple. Y ahí voy moviéndome y yo me agendo. Muy importante organizarse. Organizarse. ¿De dónde agarro el vocabulario? Ahí les envié dos listados de verbos. Si no los tengo, ya, ya los imprimí, incluso Entonces, los tengo. hay que tener un marcador. Ahora, la sintaxis que ocupo para hablarme a mí mismo tiene mucho que ver. Durante esta clase te he escuchado decir dos veces o tres, es muy difícil, es muy difícil. Y esa es la palabra que hay que quitarse. No es difícil. Y fíjate que a mí me costó, yo decía eso mucho, yo decía, es muy difícil. Este, solía tratarme mal. Todavía lo hago. De vez en cuando, cuando me despierto. Ay, no, otra vez. Ya no me quiero levantar. Y me agarra la tarde. ¡Qué pamado! ¡Qué no sé qué me digo! Y todo lo que te decís, el cerebro lo percibe. ¿Y qué dice el cerebro? Sí, tiene razón. Entonces, te estás convenciendo a ti mismo. Entonces hay que cambiar las palabras. En lugar de decir que es difícil, tal vez yo puedo superar eso. Yo puedo, yo puedo. Y empezás a creer en ti mismo sin darte cuenta. Ahora, ¿de dónde sale eso? Hay un video y ahí se lo voy a enviar ahorita para que lo vean cuando tengan chance. Se llama, creo que se lo dije el primer día de clase. Es posible lo imposible. Y es una conferencia, dura como 19 minutos. Te recomiendo que lo veas. Y a mí me cambió la, la perspectiva, no solamente de, de, en mi vida, sino el hecho de esto de la tarea. Entendí que al cerebro no le puedo dar órdenes y decirle, grabate tres verbos, todos los días, solo tres, grabate tres verbos. Y los releo, los releo, los releo. Tal vez se lo grabe, pero después se va a quedar. ¿Y, ¿y cómo los uso? Mm.
es como cuando, es como que imagínate a las 3 de la tarde, la hora del café o a las 4, y solo te dan pan francés. No, detesto el francés con café. O, o sea, o, o, no, pues sí, pero te, estás invitado en una casa y solo te dan el pan francés. ¿De ¿Y qué hago con esto? <risa> Para empezar, no me gusta. <risa> o sea, imagínate tu cerebro, le das una palabra en inglés y no le gusta en inglés. Y ahora, y que no lo voy a ocupar. Eh, eso es increíble, pero así funciona el cerebro. Entonces, ¿cómo le hablo subjetivamente al cerebro? Agarro un lápiz de colores, un lapicero de colores, y los verbos y las palabras que o incluso los auxiliares que quiero que mi cerebro se grabe, los hago con color. Después de hacer las positivas, negativas preguntas, o sea, cinco verbos, cinco palabras, todos los días, empiezo a revisar, lo meto en el traductor de Google, y empiezo a escuchar y a repetir, a escuchar y a repetir, a escuchar y a repetir. Y la parte más importante, que esto se lo digo yo a veces, entre nos que no he visto a ningún profesor que lo haga. Yo vivo, vivo monitoreando muchos profesores en TikTok, en otras academias. Es muy importante revisarse. Pero revisarse implica, a, a ti te lo dicen en las academias, revise lo que está haciendo, revise, ¿y cómo lo hago? Métalo en el traductor y lo escucha. Pero eso no es revisarme a mí mismo. Entonces agarra el teléfono, te grabas, cuando ya sientas confianza, no de estar escuchando y repitiendo. Mm, a ver cómo lo digo. Me grabo. Ok, ahora le doy al traductor. Tiene una opción ahí ¿verdad? de reproducir. Uno, dos, mm. tres, puc. Uno me entra por aquí, el otro por aquí. Y me quedo. Uy, dije mal eso. Y eso lo dije bien. Y ahí voy. Autocorrección. Si tú alcanzas a autocorregirte, que fue lo que milagrosamente yo tenía cuando estaba chiquito, eso me ayudó muchísimo a autocorregirme y decir, como eso no era así. Claro, yo decía, si Natra no lo dice así. Natalie Cole no lo, Nat, Nat King Cole no lo dice así Los Beatles, John Lennon no lo dice así Se escuchaba mucha música Y ese era mi parámetro No existían celulares mm. Ni el internet Entonces, no sé Eso es muy importante porque al final Es lo que te va a llevar a, a dar ese siguiente paso Lo que me estás diciendo Yo no traduzco mucho, perfecto Pero ¿Quién lo dice? Y ahí viene la otra parte Si tenés a alguien con quien hablar, inglés la mejor cosa que puedes hacer aunque esa persona o sea, que digamos que está aprendiendo pero un poquito más avanzado que tú o al mismo nivel y se dan duro juntos, ¿no? Y mira, no es que no es así no se dice comfortable comfortable, se dice comfortable comfortable en esa palabra ambas son buenas <risa> ok, por ejemplo <risa> con un chero nos dimos cuenta de eso y así aprendiendo lo mismo, ¿eh? porque él le decía que era comfortable, comfortable y él me decía, no, comfortable, comfortable. Y luego, con el tiempo, entendí que sí, ambos pronunciaciones estaban bien. Entonces, ánimo es lo más importante. Ahí está el video en el WhatsApp. Okay. Para que, pues, te animes. Te invito a que si estás casado o tenés a alguien, a alguien que aprecias mucho, que se pongan a ver eso y hagan de caso que están en la conferencia. Y vayan siguiendo a Omar, el ponente en las cosas que dice, si dice sacarle la lengua al que tenés al lado, le sacas la lengua al que tenés al lado porque si tú te, te, te metes en esto, en esa conferencia, vas a entender un poco más, la sintaxis cómo te hablas, cómo te tratas cómo el cerebro percibe las ideas es muy importante ¿eh? okay. bueno, cualquier consulta, duda, inquietud que tengas me puedes enviar un audio, no más de 30 segundos, contestando cualquier pregunta que tú te quieras hacer así como, what did you do yesterday? I woke up in the morning, ya, yeah, 30 segundos. Claro, practica lo primero y después me lo envías. Y yo te, puedo, yo te puedo enviar el feedback, si eso te ayuda, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto, sí. Okay. Una última consulta. Sí. Solo voy a decir que pues, sí. Yo tenía planeado hacer eh, este último mes en el curso. Porque siento que tengo muchos vacíos de antes de la base, entonces quería mm. practicar de nuevo la base, pero no sé no sé qué me recomienda lo que te acabo de decir ojo, un cuaderno en blanco un mm. lapicero de múltiples minas de colores y agarrar el primer pdf, ya lo voy a reenviar y seguir esa dieta, todos los días todos los días, va a hacer que reenvíes la gramática que ya aprendiste dos 
o sea, hay varias cosas que se pueden hacer. Eh, ahí hay una dirección que dice Ron Chan. Ahorita lo voy a escribir aquí mejor. Ron Chan. Son audios entre dos personas, pero está el transcript. ¿Sí? Lo que, lo que dice la A, lo que dice la B. Eso tiene una metodología de lunes a sábado. Seis, siete días, digamos. Primer y segundo día. Con la boca cerrada, solo lees con los ojos, valga la redundancia. Solo vas leyendo lo que ya imprimiste o escribiste de eso. Tercer día empiezo a articular lo que escucho dos días más. Y voy leyendo, articulando. Al quinto y sexto día empiezo a intentar repetirlo, repetirlo. La conversación, es una conversación muy lógica, bien entonada. Y al final, de nuevo, agarro todo. Y soy el estudiante A y el estudiante B. Entonces empiezo a, a leer todo de corrido grabándome con el celular. Una vez yo siento que lo que he grabado se ve bien, hago lo nue de nuevo eso. Le doy play al audio de la página y le doy play al celular. Me autocorrijo. Ojo que no te he dicho traducir. Uh -huh. Es el séptimo día. El español ya me lo sé. Digo, el Entenderlo. séptimo día. Y esto va a ser bien divertido, porque si tú seguís este patrón, al final, cuando escuches tu voz y todo, lo primero que vas a decir es, ese no es mi voz. Uno no se oye igual, por si no lo sabías, lo que escuchaste en tu voz no es, no, no es así de sexy. La otra gente no lo oye así. <risa> el matado sí, definitivamente. Segundo, te vas a empezar a, a dar cuenta de tus errores, a corregirlos, y tercero, si ya una vez has hecho todo bien, te gratificas, decides, bueno, voy a comprar algo que me guste. Y al finalizar, traducís todo, pero siguiendo uh, un reto, ¿no? Vas viendo la estructura y decís, si dice, I will go, eso dice, iré. iré. Um, to the chemist, to the chemist, dice. Chemist, no sé qué es eso, y empiezo a descubrir vocabulario nuevo, ya, nueva gramática, que la puedo ir entendiendo, y eso, te, o sea, es un ejercicio súper completo, entonces, ahí está, de hecho, se los voy a enviar así como describiendo este proceso que te he dicho, porque ya van varios que me dicen, ¿y cómo hago? Sí, es, es la verdad, bueno, uh -huh. no es complicado, lo vamos a hacer. <risa> lo puedo hacer, lo puedo hacer. La superación es personal. Por mucho que sí. tengas un mentor como Arnold Schwarzenegger para formar el cuerpo, si tú no, no, no crees en ti, es... No, pero me duro. gusta la metodología que utiliza. Es diferente. He estado en otras clases. Se mete y a darle a la lista. Ah, pero ahí está, me parece. Comentamos, con, comentamos con Miguel porque él es mi mi compañero de trabajo y nos parece la clase uh -huh. bueno, ánimo, ánimo no, no hagas planes negativos a futuro eso jamás porque si los planes positivos no salen a futuro, imagínate los negativos si sí salen no. <ríe> si <Sí> salen <ríe> <ríe> es una desgracia de la vida es, una, es el karma tú decís no voy a hacer esto en el futuro y es algo que en realidad sabes que es algo negativo porque te has puesto una meta y si vas a tirar la toalla y ya lo tienes programado voy a tirar la toalla tal fecha no sé es, bien raro eso es que otra de las partes más es súper complicado es con la parte de mi familia por el tiempo Ay, se fija yo tengo a mi niña siempre mi esposa trabaja dos días de noche y dos días estoy solo yo con mi nena entonces uh -huh. eh, ella me dice papá quiero ¿Qué, jugar ¿qué edad tiene? seis ¿y cuántos tienes? uno una no hombre el tiempo se va <risa> los hijos crecen pero hay oportunidades que solo llegan una vez en la vida Sí, y, no, y si no las aprovechas, te lo digo yo, ya tengo tres. Tengo tres. Tres, tres ya, catorce. Huepa. Catorce, once y ocho. Catorce, once y ocho. La niña tiene ocho. Pero hoy entiendo eso, o sea, realmente, yo ya, ya pasé por eso, trabajaba de lunes a domingo. 
no iba ni a la iglesia con ellos. Solo les dedicaba los domingos en la tarde. Pero gracias a Dios, fue el momento más idóneo porque necesitábamos para muchas cosas. Hoy en día, pues, ahí vamos con la misericordia de Dios. Así, cuesta, cuesta. Porque sí, no es lo mismo estar solo en dos lugares trabajando que como antes que eran cuatro o cinco lugares durante toda la semana. O sea, eran cinco ingresos. Me explico. Es muy diferente. Y esa es la ventaja de saber inglés. Se te abre una de puertas y ante todo si te encanta lo que haces. Entonces, no solamente dar clases, sino que eh, tú me dices, es una cosa personal, pero si te encanta tu trabajo actual y saber inglés te va a abrir más puertas. Definitivamente. Uh, si yo supiera inglés, estuviera en otra posición. So, ánimo. Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, teacher.